Hello and a warm welcome to the Vedic Math Workshop. We thank you for purchasing your copy of the Vedic Math DVD set and we sincerely hope that it will be a phenomenal learning and a high speed number crunching experience for you. I am sure you are wondering what exactly is Vedic Maths. To understand more about the system, let's invite the President of the Vedic Math Forum of India, Mr. Gaurav Tekrivan. Welcome Gaurav. Hi Hello. Alka, how are you? I am fine, how are you? Tell me. Uh, our viewers, I think, are very interested in knowing what exactly is Vedic Math. Well, Vedic Mathematics is a high-speed, super-fast system of calculations which is hailing from the ancient Indian scriptures called the Vedas. Now, Vedas means knowledge, the fountainhead of knowledge. Now, all the solutions to the problems of life can be found in the Vedas, be it health, be it engineering, be it constructions, be it mathematics. Now, these Vedas have been powered with phenomenal secrets. Now, there was the father of Vedic mathematics. His name was Jagadguru Swami Bharti Krishna Tethaji Maharaj. Now, he founded Vedic mathematics. He went into solitude in a forest in South India for eight long years and he reconstructed the formulas which are called the Vedic Sutras. Now, Vedic mathematics will help students mm -hmm. to calculate much, much faster compared to the modern mathematics. Now, I'll give you an example, a sum like 98 times 97. Mm -hmm. This will uh, normally baffle a student and uh, he might take over 30 seconds to one minute to do it. Now, with the speed and with the aid of Vedic mathematics, a person can do this in less than five seconds. Flag. Now, how amazing is that? Phenomenal. Now, another thing is that Vedic mathematics is a holistic system. It is intuitive, it is systematic, and it is coherent. Now, with Vedic mathematics, you can do systems and calculations much, much faster. Isn't that amazing, Alka? That's phenomenal, Gaurav. But Gaurav, there are so many mathematical systems which are prevalent in the world today. For instance, say Abacus or Kumon system of learning and how is uh, Vedic math different from them? Well, Abacus hails from China. Now in Abacus what you have is a sweet learning tool and rectangular learning tool in a wooden frame. You have wires and you have beads attached. Now as you move those beads in the wires, you can do calculations. Now in Abacus, the calculations are done at high speed. You can do arithmetic so sums like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. The speeds are fast but the course is long. It will take a student at least two long years to complete the entire course. So the, what happens? The student gets irritated. Also another limitation of the abacus is that in abacus uh, you cannot do sums like uh, algebra, you cannot do trigonometry, you cannot do calculus or even geometry. Whereas in Vedic mathematics is an all-encompassing uh, subject. You can do all these subjects which I mentioned and even more. Now, another thing which you mentioned about Kumon Math. Mm -hmm. Now, Kumon Math is hailing from Japan. It was founded by Mr. Toru Kumon uh, in Japan uh, where he devised a system of arithmetic to teach uh, his son. He was failing in the mathematics and what he did, he devised a system of training. Now, he had a system of worksheets where a student had to repeat those worksheets as long as he had mastery of it. Only when he had mastery of the uh, subject, he will he move on to the next level. So, mind you, in Vedic mathematics, there are uh, phenomenal different new methods. But in Kumon math, there are no new methods. You are doing the same sum, but you are repeating it over and over again. Now, uh, so I uh, give you an example, mm -hmm. a sum like 98 times 97 mm -hmm. will take a Kumon student 30 seconds to 45 seconds to do it. But a Vedic math student can do it much faster and much more accurately. Isn't that amazing, Alka? Yes, that's phenomenal, Gaurav. But uh, there are some critics who feel that arithmetic, which is speeded up by the application of the sutras, can be performed as competently on a computer or a calculator. So, uh, do you think high school students should be using calculators? Well, I get that all the time, Alka. I'll be frank with you, I get that all the time. Now, the thing with calculators, uh, what I ask, I want to ask a question to the school system. Why don't they use calculators instead of mathematics in a school system? Should they, the children should be grown up, they should be going to school 
and not carrying big fat books of mathematics but they should be carrying calculators they should be taught just how to punch numbers now we have all known uh, um, accountants and shopkeepers who have problems in calculations you give them a simple number 10 plus 5 and what they be saying give me a minute I'll open up my calculator and I'll try solving it for you now our mind just like the body is a muscle it needs exercise right. the more you exercise your mind the more agile and more flexible it becomes now Vedic mathematics what it does is use it uses both the left side as well as the right side of the brain which is the seat of intuitive learning and creativity now the brain is used when you perform calculations through the Vedic system a child gets more flexible mm -hmm. he is more sharp he is able to concentrate more so don't you think a uh, calculator should be banned from school and students should be allowed to use Vedic mathematics now another thing which I wanted to point out to you is uh, through experience mm -hmm. now we have been having Vedic math which has been increasingly becoming popular with old age people okay. because they would like to keep their minds occupied with something and even minds sharp so what they do they do Vedic mathematics and as well as they learn themselves and they'll have their brains to be sharp and what also they do is that they even tease their grandchildren so you know Vedic math even helps to bring down the generation gap so tell me more Alka uh, I'm sure in all your years of practicing Vedic maths you must have come across many anxious parents who, whose uh, children suffer from math phobia yes so what exactly is math phobia and why do they suffer from it well math phobia happens because maths is very perfect now 4 plus 5 has to be 9 and that's what scares the children away because in other subjects like English or geography you have uh, you can learn in different ways you can wrote learn but math cannot be wrote learned that is what scares the students away you have to apply logic you have to apply your concentration and through that you can derive at the answer that is why math is becoming a problem in all the countries around the world and math is becoming the most hated subject mm -hmm. now we did a survey among students now the survey said which subject you like the best math was nowhere even mentioned among the subjects mm -hmm. now you do that you know why math is becoming a problem now Vedic math can help here what Vedic math can do it can make math fun exciting interesting why because not only you are able to do big problems in less time much much faster you are able to do it correctly that's what zooms up your confidence Alka that's what zooms up your confidence and creates an excitement and curiosity in the student now that's what gets the students involved in mathematics and he gets more interactive and tries out different things in mathematics so tell me more we have students who lack concentration these days there are so many things to you know distract them how does Vedic math help in improving concentration well a Vedic math sutra can help to improve concentration tremendously Alka it will zoom up your concentration level it will speed up your memory systems and also speed up your calculation and you'll be able to do it much much faster now how does the sutra able to do that what happens is when we apply a Vedic math system sutra what happens you apply the left side of your brain as well as the right side of the brain the left side of the brain is the seat of logical and sequential learning now the right side of the brain is the seat of creativity seat of intuition seat of emotions now in the right side, when the left side as well as the right side meets what happens is the impeccable synergy and this synergy gives you speed this synergy increases concentration you tend to improve yourself much much faster geniuses which has been said always use both sides of the brain tell me Gaurav this sounds amazing but I've heard that Vedic math concepts are being used by NASA scientists too is it possible for you to give us some information on that yes Alka the Vedic math algorithms is being tremendously being used in the IT system now it's been used not only by NASA in artificial intelligence it has been used in chip, chip designing by Intel there are other applications of Vedic mathematics too in the field of information technology especially in chip designing digital signal processing di discrete Fourier transform VLCI arithmetic RSA 
security systems. It's amazing. The field is enormous. Now, the founder of Vedic Math, Swami Bharti Krishna Tirthaji, he went in 1958 on a tour to USA. Now, he toured a lot of universities, the chief among being Caltech, Stanford, MIT, etc. Now, the, the, the uh, lectures which he gave at California Information of Technology was phenomenal. It was received like crazy. Now, what he talked about his Vedic Math Sutras, and if you'll note, if you go through the progressiveness of computers after that, what you'll see that there's a remarkable improvement in uh, computer technology. This is basically due to the Vedic Sutras. Research is being carried on more, and if I give you more information about NASA, Dr. Rick Briggs, he is a NASA astronomer, and he has been using Vedic Math System to his great use. Even engineers at Microsoft have been using Vedic mathematics. In fact, it is a compulsory course for engineers who go from India to America to be equipped with the skills of Vedic mathematics. This far, we are convinced that Vedic maths seems to be the, a very good bet for young children. But what about high school students? Do, uh, does it facilitate them to uh, you know, remember their complicated formulas or calculate them? Yes. Uh, it facilitates by giving them 16 sutras or word formulas and 13 corollaries or up sutras. Now through these 16 plus 13, 29 formulas, word formulas, you can do systems in mathematics, both arithmetic, algebra, calculus. Now I'll give you an example of the system. There's a sutra. It's called all from 9 and last from 10. I repeat, it's called all from 9 mm -hmm. and last from 10. Mm -hmm. Through this sutra, through this formula, what you can do, you can do instant subtractions, you can do instant multiplications, you can even do division. Now how impressive would that be? One, so one formula and you have so many different applications. I'll give you another application, sutra. It's called the vertically and crosswise. In the vertically and crosswise, what you can do, you can do one line arithmetic. Now this one line arithmetic sutra will help you to do five digits into five digits in less than one minute. Less than one minute. Now the same sutra alka, will be used in division, finding square roots, how to find squares. Now isn't that amazing? Even in algebra. Now, isn't that amazing and fascinating? That's super, Gaurav. But uh, another query. Yes. Uh, there are parents who know that the children are intelligent. There are quite a few intelligent children around. But the problem is they make careless mistakes. Yes. So does Vedic math help into? Vedic mathematics is a zero error technique. Through Vedic mathematics, in a sum, when you do it through the Vedic math system, there's an inbuilt checking system. You can check from various angles whether your sum is correct or not. So it, it is a zero error technique. The parents and the children become much more sharper. The chances of making mistakes is zero. So imagine what boost in confidence will this system give to the child. And even the parents who will not have to bother around with solving the queries all the time. One system, one application, the right answer at the right time. Gaurav, I'm sure by now the parents are really anxious for their you know, young ones to start. But how early can one start? Well, a, st a child can start as young as nine years when he has learned the concepts of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. The basic concepts can be taught to a child when he's nine years only. And for little higher concepts in Vedic mathematics, uh, one has to be a teenager. 13, 14 years plus, we recommend high speed mathematics to them. They'll be able to much grasp the concept and as a child gets older by the time he's 18 and 19 late 20s what he can do uh, he can go on with the concepts of trigonometry calculus uh, even solving sums like in the kepler's equations etc so that will be amazing and are there any educational tools and books available which yes. they can access yes if you go to our website www.vedicmathsindia.org if you go to our website, there are the detailed sections on books. There are various books available by various authors on different Vedic math subjects from intermediate level 
to the elementary level to the advanced level there are a lot of courses 